Would you be scared if I tell you that every day two planes crash and there are no survivors? This is the number of people killed by cancer every day just here in UK. When a patient gets cancer, the first thing he wants to know is if they found this cancer in time and what's the stage of progression. This is because the most dangerous characteristic of cancer is the ability to spread. Exactly like a plane can travel from one part of the world to another one, cancer can leave its primary location, travel inside the body, reach any other destination and generate another tumor. In order to do so, cancer cells have to face many different environments, from hard bones to softer tissue, like brain or breast, from areas with large holes where the cell can easily travel to part with tiny little gaps where the cell has to squeeze in by elongating, stretching, compressing. The point of the cell is to reach the first destination of their journey, the bloodstream. Through the blood, cells can travel and propagate inside the body. The reason why cancer cells can easily migrate is because of their ability to change their strategy in response to the environment. And that's the key. But why cancer cell can do that? I gave you an example. Imagine that me and my grandma, we both fall. And just to let you know, she has osteoporosis. Probably, you will be more worried for her than for me because her bones are more fragile. Disease changes the mechanical properties of tissue. Cancer changes the mechanical properties of cells. In my PhD, I'm studying these changes. As first, I investigated cancer cells in order to collect information about their, their ability. Then, I developed a platform, a tiny little box as big as a one pound coin, able to mimic the human body. My platform has many chambers able to contain cells that are connected with, many, with several channels with many sizes in order to replicate all the obstacles cells can face during their journey. In my experiment, I put cells in one side and a lot of food in the other side. After a bit, the cell will be starving and they will start to move in order to find the food. And to do that, they will have to enter in the channel and face all the obstacles I made for them. And the aim is to link all of this information together to have a better understanding of this phenomena. We also have to keep in mind that cells are tiny little things made for several organs. We also want to understand which parts better influence cancer invasion. If we can understand why cancer migrate, we can find a way to stop this phenomena. Thank you.